Okay, I reshot the inverted L today. I needed to go up a little higher. Uh, I took some other people's advice and put a bungee cord in there to help take up some slack case the trees start moving. But I did manage to get it up higher. The vertical section, 44 feet exactly, is a lot more taut. I was able to move the base plate, the feed point, a little bit forward uh, so that the wire is uh, more vertical. And uh, hooked all my radials up. One of the radials actually connects to the awning on the back of the house. But the weird part I wanted to show everybody was this SWR situation. So <clears throat> I have a series of ground radials. Green wires go all the way up. A couple go all the way up to the neighbor's property and beyond. 120 some odd feet. A couple go all around the front. 120 feet. Green one goes all the way up there. Attaches to the neighbor's chain link fence, which is 70 feet long. So uh, I have some ground radio, some extension cords here, connected with clip leads, so on, so forth. But this one that grounds to the awning, if I put it on this rusty bolt, I want to show everybody what the curve looks like. So we'll do a scan with the rig expert here. Uh, it flattens it out, which is really nice. It was never this broad band before. 1.5 to 1. Pretty much across the whole 160 meter band starts to go up toward the end. Uh, it's a little bit high there, but I mean the, the lowest SWR is a little bit higher in the band than I like to be, but that's okay. What I wanted to show people is if all I have to do is just move this to the other bolt, which I don't understand this at all. It's on the same aluminum plate here, I think. Oh my goodness, I put this in here. It's a little more rustier, but I'll grind it in real good. It's really no more rustier than this one. But watch what happens when I do another scan. Uh, let's go. Instantly it starts out higher. And all I did was just move it over to the adjacent bolt on the same post, the last post. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Grind it in again, make sure I got a good contact. It's about the best I'm going to get. Let me do another scan here. Come on, T belts. I'll take it off. See, it shoots up a little bit. I'll put it back on. Basically, the same trace. Now, I'll go back to this other bolt. Yeah, the rusty bolt. Again, and boom, instantly it starts out lower. I can't explain it. Move it from one bolt to the next. How odd is that? 